And we're back. Welcome back to Lance's Auto Vlogs. And in this particular case, it's a, this is a friend's car. He's got a brand new 20, 21, 22 Toyota minivan, Sienna, hybrid. So I've done this car before. Well, I shouldn't say I did this car. I did his car before and I put a full system in his car and a Toyota Pilot, and now since gas prices have risen, he decided he wanted to get a hybrid, or I should say an electric vehicle. No, this is hybrid. Yeah, hybrid. Toyota Sienna with the full screen in here. And he elected to take his A-trim box out of his truck, out of his Honda Pilot, and go with it in his Toyota. So, with that, he decided he wanted to go with the auto control epicenter the new micro epicenter micro um, and his a trend box with a eight inch jl in here now if you ask me um i'm not a big epicenter fa fan but they do serve a purpose and what i mean by that is that they uh they restore bass to car systems or music systems, audio systems that don't have the bass in the recording. Now, I'm not talking about MP3s or anything like that where um, the music has just been taken away. I'm just talking about general music where it has low frequencies that play really well and, and it's in the best interest of the system to have that boosted. And you'll find those in a lot of times in Hispanic music and some music that's just not there. Um, now, I didn't elect to tell him to buy this product. He decided to do it on his own or was recommended to do it to him. But he's a friend. So I was like, let's go with it. So, like I said, the Auto Control Epicenter Micro, which the unit is pretty small, and the JL Woofer in an Atrium box. Now, I don't typically do boxes like this where they don't be, they're not mounted or anything like that. But he's a friend and he wanted to do it, his, he wanted his way. Uh, so you can unplug it and take it in and out. So I had to do something to make it so it's very simple. And the way this truck is, or I should say this van is, it has flip down seats and he flips them down. And this truck, I mean, this van is really, really cool. So um, what you'll find is that in this van, that the battery is actually here, right here behind this panel in the back. And we ran all the wires from front to back, all the way back here. And then we put the system in here or i should say the micro plug in there and let me take that apart and let me show you how that looks like so i'll pull the panel off and the audio control unit is buried under there uh behind the spare tire so that made it simple for it to all be ran into one really small location and then we uh, did a audio control base knob right there the acr which comes in the box so let's play a track. Let me close the trunk and play a track and let me tell you how it sounds. So like I said, let's let's hear how this thing sounds with the bass knob and the epicenter. Like it, it, it ha don't get me wrong, this system really does have a good impact and rumble and everything with the epicenter, but also has good bass. Uh, the eight that does really well, so it's a pretty nice box. It just, I've said I'm not a ported box guy, but if you really want a humping box with an eight trend and a ported box, this is not bad. Yeah, let me know. Cause it ain't the end of times yet. I 
my nah, but it's getting close. Yeah, I need my space to breathe. That's why I be going ghost. I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road. Cause I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 nah. That said, uh, there was a little interruption there, but for what it is, this box is pretty damn good. Um, I probably would want a bigger woofer uh, personally, but if this is what the customer wants and that's what he would like to go with, you go with what the customer wants. So please stay tuned for the next video. Please don't don't forget to like, comment, and just subscribe to the next video. Peace.